So today we're gonna to be going outside to complete our plant scavenger hunt in order to take resource pictures for our upcoming project. And then we're gonna be using those resource pictures to work with the leaves silhouettes in order to help us create our project. So to show you the kind of pictures I want us to take today, these are some that I took when I went outside on a short 10 minute walk down the greenway, but you can also take pictures just in your backyard, walking through your neighborhood, um, things like that. So I'm gonna be using this little pear tree branch from my backyard to demonstrate how to take your pictures today, just to give you one example. But then the other supplies that you're gonna need is a white piece of paper, and this is gonna be your background for all of the pictures that you take. And then you'll also want something sturdy to place your paper on. I'm using a clipboard, for example, but you could also use a notebook, something that will prevent it from sort of blowing in the wind to give you a nice sturdy background. You'll also need your phone or a camera to take your pictures with today. Now it's really important that the kind of pictures you take are simplistic photos that can easily be converted to a flat silhouette style image like the one you see here on the right. So to get a good picture, it really helps to think about this project as like working with a flattened silhouette. Any of the details inside of the leaves, we won't get to see. And if any leaves overlap, we won't see that either. It's all going to merge down into one flat layer. So the negative space in this project, the empty space between the leaves, basically what you see of your white piece of paper, that's really important for this project in order for your shapes to be recognizable as leaves. So now I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can take your resource photos. The first way is to go outside and bring in some plant clippings that you'd like to work with, but do make sure that you get permission to take any clippings off of any plants before you cut them. Now with this particular tree branch, when I lay it flat, the leaves are all sort of turned up at an angle where you can't see them clearly. So this branch is gonna work better if I sort of tilt it up flat where I can see the nice edges and full view of the leaves. And I can sort of play around with the composition a little bit and zoom in to where the leaves are filling up most of the composition. You really want to avoid having a lot of empty and negative space. So really zoom in and make sure that those leaves are really filling up your entire viewfinder and take a couple of pictures from different angles um, turn and sort of move it to sort of experiment. You do want to try to avoid having the leaves go out of the frame if you can help it. Now I always recommend taking lots of pictures, making subtle shifts and changes to the composition because you're much more likely to get an awesome picture that way rather than taking just one or two. So now to show you if you want to take the second option and take your pictures outside, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So you'll take your white paper and your clipboard or notebook outside and simply place it behind the branches or the plants that you want to take photos of. And you wanna make sure that you frame in your image to where the white piece of paper is the entire background and it fills up that whole space and you get some really good flat images of leaves. Now I tend to think that flat plants where the leaves all sort of lay out in nice neat little rows tends to work the best rather than more sort of three-dimensional plants that can be a little bit trickier it may also be a great idea if you have someone else that can go outside with you, it can be really helpful to have them hold the plants in place while you take the pictures or vice versa. It can be a little tricky to do that all by yourself. Now I wanna show you a couple of examples that are good examples for this project and some of the things you want to look for. So you wanna make sure that all of your pictures have that white background with the white piece of paper and you want your leaves to really fill the space and make an interesting composition and you want them to also be easily recognizable by just the silhouette and the negative space, not necessarily the information that's going on inside of the leaves to identify them. Now some of the things you want to avoid when taking your pictures is taking images that are too simple with too few leaves. And you also want to avoid having too many leaves where they overlap and the image becomes confusing. You also want to avoid plants where everything looks very thin and stick-like like this one because ultimately when we get to this project we're going to be cutting out these shapes so you want it to be something that has some substance to it that's going to make it easier to cut out later.